In this video, I am gonna show you how to do this. If you are here for the first time, my name is Pav, and on this channel, I uh, talk about all things photography and video. Cameras, lenses, photography, video gear, tutorials, and yeah, all things video and photography. If this is something you are interested, then please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to simply, very, very simply animate numbers from zero to whatever number you want in Adobe After Effects. So let's go straight into it. In After Effects, you want to create a new composition first. So yeah, new composition, composition, new composition, and for purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna make it four seconds long exactly. Okay, now we, on this in this new composition, I'm gonna type a number. It doesn't really matter what number it is. Uh, you can obviously change the font of its size to whatever you wanna do. You can do it after, so don't have to worry about this now. Now to this text layer, I want to add slider effect. There's two ways to get it. You can go to effects, expression controls, and select the slider control, or go to your effects and presets panel and search for slider. Then drag your slider control onto your text layer very simple so far okay expand your text layer there's a two things to expand here your text and your effect under your text there is a source text with a stopwatch right next to it if you option click on the mac or alt click on the pc the stopwatch next to source text it's going to expand and show you this very very basic uh, expression control text. What you wanna do now is go to expression source text where it says blue equal and you got this twirly, it's called pick, pick whip. Uh, if you drag this pick whip straight into your slider control, I haven't expanded it enough, you have to expand the slider control as well, and then drag the pick whip into your slider and the slider control. Now you have this code con connecting your text to your slider so you can actually animate your, your numbers. So if we add now to add some keyframes to this, so on the slider, I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to slider to create a keyframe at the beginning of my animation, move my playhead to somewhere I wanna finish my animation and add another keyframe. Now on my first keyframe, I'm gonna go to, to zero here, that's my zero, and then animate to to the last number, which in this case, I'm gonna put 100 here. But as you can see, when I scroll it, you not only got a number, but also the, the point and all these crazy numbers. I'm gonna show you how to very easily control those. If you go back to your source text expression source text here and just click on it, at the end of it, at simply full stop value, full stop to fixed. And after that, add bracket, and inside that bracket, add a number, one for example. And now if I scroll through again, it's only one decimal point. And if I, I can obviously add a, a two, if you need two, if, you, if you're animating price for example, uh, you can have two, very, very simple, or simply just put zero to have your main number only. Yeah, that's simple. Now, what if I want to add the price, a dollar or a pound sign before that? So click your, your expression here, and before the expression, type, uh, speech quotes and in the speech quotes put your pound sign dollar sign or whatever number you want and a plus and that automatically adds your symbol before this could be any any word or letter whatever you want you can put a number so you go you can put a space in there as well if you want to be very precise also if you wanted to put something at the end of it it's simple as adding plus and then a speech quotes and adding uh, for example i don't know uh, meters if you wanna, and that's a, and that after the number you got your meters. You can add space, but space be, before the word, so there's a there's a there's a spacing actually before. What's great about this, uh, the whole animation is actually contained within the text layer. Uh, you can change the by changing the slider controls. You can actually change the number, so you can change the the original value to maybe twenty five to the final value, final keyframe, you can move on to your last keyframe, which is there to be, for example, 50, and only move it very small amount. So it's fully customizable, fully controllable animation. On the end of this keyframe, the end keyframe, you can actually add keyframe assistant and add uh, easy, 
ease in to slow down your animation towards the end so you will go uh, fast speed and towards the end you, the numbers will stop animating as it is self-contained text layer containing the animation within the text layer you can actually include it into bigger projects into another animation you can change the colors the size of font uh, the font obviously and this is the the simplest way to animate numbers from one number to another in Adobe After Effects. I hope this short tutorial was helpful in a way. If it was, please give me the thumbs up. If you enjoy this kind of content, cameras, photography, video, lenses, tutorials, then please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.